The colony is home to a new restaurant, Akira Back, just in time to celebrate Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Heritage Month. Joining me is Chef Akira Back. Uh, good to see you. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Great to see you again. Good morning. Um, so first off, congratulations on the opening. Now, this is so interesting to me. Uh, you have restaurants in Paris, Dubai, Bangkok, Singapore, Vegas, but this is your first restaurant in Texas. Why here? You know, because Texas is very, very important in my heart because this is where I really love, uh, um, enjoy cooking. I, I really found the love because people here are so nice. And, you know, back in the days, I, I didn't like, you know, when I started cooking, I didn't enjoy it. But when I came here, you know, you remind me why I'm really cooking. So it's it's been really a long journey. And I'm so excited to be here, and I, you know, I'm so glad. Well, we're certainly glad you're here. Uh, you describe your cuisine as a melting pot of culture. Now, I know that you grew up in Korea, but you studied Japanese cooking. So tell us about this parent and familial influence and bringing that here to Texas. Yeah, you know, I, I want to be like, I want to represent me. So it's it's menu, every single thing is represent my life and journey. So it's pretty interesting. You know, I born and raised, I played baseball. I moved to Aspen, Colorado, become professional snowboarder. And then after that is, you know, I end up cooking. So I want to merge every single thing in one menu. And I just did that. And, you know, it's been pretty fun in my life. Now, Chef, you, you said that pretty casually, that you became a professional snowboarder in your teens. Um, you're big on dare to be different. And so that's not a typical route, especially growing up in an Asian family. No, you know, like, like you know, can you imagine? I play baseball all my life. And then our family moved to Aspen, Colorado when I was 14. So I really couldn't speak, even say, how are you doing? You know, so... I have to learn something really fast. That's why I actually end up snowboarding because I want to learn English and then end up learning English from snowboarders, bleach my hair, try to be all cool. And then I thought I was acting pretty cool. And I, I realized I want to do something different again. So I end up cooking. From a professional snowboarder to a Michelin star chef, um, I feel like you've had a pretty interesting and incredible life. What is it that you want people to know, especially as it's Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Heritage Month, about what they can still learn from just different cultures? Maybe no, even you know, that like, starts uh, with uh, trying different food. Yeah, so, okay. So, Sonia, like, I'll tell you, like, if, if a lot of people ask me, what do you think about my restaurant, right? So I go, hey, if you come to Akira back, I go, hey, if you're a vegan, you're a meat eater or a sushi eater, or you want to eat something different, I go, please welcome. Because, you know, life is short. Let's not be so serious. Let us, you know, let us do all the cooking and you just enjoy, you know. Try something new and enjoy the experience. Enjoy the ride. Chef, yep. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it, Sonia. See you soon, I hope. Please. All right. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah.